Namaste. We have all come across the concept of Marga and Deshi. Sounds too technical, but it is actually quite simple. In the Indian tradition, arts, music, culture, language, literature, architecture, sculpture, cuisine, rituals, customs and practices are all broadly classified as Marga and Deshi. Anything that is pure, ancient, antique, traditional and strictly adheres to textual guidelines is Marga. Marga has a national and civilizational relevance and it is pan-Indian in nature. Deshi on the other hand refers to the regional variations that naturally develop and evolve to suit the tastes and preferences of the local connoisseurs. Marga is Lakshana Pradhana with more focus on theory and Deshi is Lakshya Pradhana leaning more towards practice. If dance as uh, laid down by Bharata Muni in his Natya Shastra is Marga, then the various forms of dance that are prevalent in the different uh, regions like Bharatanatya, Kuchipudi, Kathak, Odissi, etc. are all Deshi. If the Vedic tenets are Marga, then the practical wisdom of the people living in different uh, regions in the form of sayings, proverbs and anecdotes is Deshi. If Samskrita is Marga, then the different Prakritas or the regional vernaculars like Kannada, Telugu, Tamil, Marathi, Gujarati etc. are all Deshi. If music as prescribed by texts like Brihad Deshi, Sangeet Ratna, Kara and so on is Marga, then the different styles of music like Hindustani, Karnatak are all Deshi. However, it is to be noted that throughout history or even in recent times, each variation or style has always been valued for its uh, speciality, exclusive features and richness. There has never been a strict or rigid demarcation between Marga and uh, Deshi as well as between the various Deshi genres. No doubt Marga is the mother of all Deshi forms and over the centuries Deshi is known to have assimilated uh, the good traits of the old Marga. This is the reason why though the two main styles of music that are practiced today Hindustani and Karnatak have evolved and are recognized as Deshi, they still incorporate a lot of Marga elements. They are not only Janaranjaka and cater to the tastes of the people at large, but they are fundamentally Shastriya or based on well-defined grammar. They not only have a popular appeal, but also have a strong technical and theoretical dimension. Friends, this kind of uh, conceptual analysis of the artistic and literary tradition can be seen only in a culture like ours. Let us explore many more facets of our glorious culture. Please do subscribe to my channel. Namaste. Shubhamastu.